for today, we will continue our discussion for the NSTP CWTS. So, for today, our topic is all about environmental awareness and protection. So, bakit nga ba ito ang kailangan nating uh, i-discuss for this module? So, again, going back with the definition of CWTS or CWATS, ang purpose natin for this is for the betterment of the society. So, eh, by discussing this, alam din natin kung paano natin mas ma paano tayo mas makaka-contribute for the betterment of the community and for the betterment of the society. Okay? So, at the end of this module or at the end of the lesson, you must be able to First, learn the importance of environmental protection, have awareness on the factors that affect climate change, and give ways to conserve the available resources. So, this is all about the environment, okay? So, sige, simula natin. So, environmental education. Ano ba itong environmental education na ito? So, it refers to organized efforts to teach about how natural environment function and particularly how human beings can manage their behavior and ecosystems in order to live sustainably. It is a learning process that increases people's knowledge and awareness about the environment and associated challenges, develops the necessary skills and expertise to address the challenges, and fosters attitudes, motivation, and commitments to make informed decisions and take responsible actions. So, basically, when we say environmental organ or environmental education, yan, uh, this is the process of kung pa paano ba natin ma paano ba natin ma tuturuan ng mga tao on how we will protect the environment. Paano ba natin ma pa ituturo sa kanila or paano natin mapaparealay sa kanila? or paano natin ma-raise yung awareness nila in regards with the environment. So maraming mga na, mga nakakandak ngayon ng mga activities na to raise environmental awareness. And bakit nga ba kailangan ng environmental awareness? So kailangan natin itong environmental awareness so that uh, we are aware sa mga nangyayari and its effect. Okay? Kung pinapaba eh, kung hindi tayo aware, lalo na sa mga ginagawa natin na may malaking effect pagdating sa environment, uh, nagkakaroon ng epekto sa atin 'yon. Okay? Lalo na tayo eh dependent din tayo sa environment natin. So, now we have this related laws in promoting environmental education. So, marami ng mga batas ngayon na naipasa na merong kinalaman sa pagprotect sa environment, okay? So isa-isahin natin yung ilan sa mga batas na iyon. So una, <coughs> ayan, the Republic Act number no. 9512 which is known as the National Environment Environmental Awareness and Education Act of 2008. So basahin natin yung section 3 which is the scope of environmental education. So sabi dito sa section 3 ng, ng RA 9512, ayan, the DepEd, the CHED, the TESDA, ayan, the DSWD in coordination with uh, DENR and DOST and other relevant agencies shall integrate environmental education in its co- in its school curricula at all levels whether public or private including in barangay daycare preschool and formal tech book professional level indigenous learning and out of school youth courses or programs so through this law ayan kailangan daw na maka- maiintegrate yung mga uh, environmental education in these different uh, agencies Okay, sa curriculum ng different school eh, different uh, education agencies na nandito na ng mga nabanggit, okay? Lalo na 'yan sa DepEd, sa CHED, TESDA, kailangan daw ma-incorporate 'yung environmental education sa kanilang curriculum. Okay? So that uh, maging aware ang lahat, lalo na 'yung mga estudyante na natuturuan. And then, sabi rin dyan sa RA 9512, the section number 4, which is the Environmental Education and Activities as part of the NSTP. Ayan, kung kaya't na may pasok ito sa inyong uh, curriculum. 
Okay? Kung bakit natin to dinidiscuss. Okay? Dahil nga, nasa batas. And then, sabi rin dyan sa RA number 9512, yan, the dec- under section 5, the Declaration of Environmental Awareness Month. So, pursuant to the policy set forth in this act, In this act, the month of November, November of every year shall be known as the Environmental Awareness Month throughout the Philippines. So, November. Through this law, ayan na isa batas po na gawing Environmental Awareness Month ang month of November. Okay? Now, ano, ano pa yung mga law? Another law which is the RA number 9003 or Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of year 2000. Yan. So, this is a law which is an act providing for an ecological solid waste management program, creating the necessary institutional mechanisms and incentives, declaring certain acts prohibited and providing penalties, appropriating funds, therefore, and for other purposes. So, ito naman, kung kanina eh... all about the environmental education yung law na yon yung RA 9512 this time naman the RA number zero, number 9003 which is all about the ecological solid waste management naman okay still relevant pa rin pagdating sa environment okay so eto naman eh, may kinalaman on how we will properly dispose our waste or yung tinatag natin na waste management. So ano pa ba yung mga ibang sinasabi diyan sa batas na yan? So the de- under the section number 2 declaration of policies, it is hereby hereby declared the policy of the state to adopt a systematic, comprehensive and ecological solid waste management program which shall first ensure the production ensure the protection of public health and environment. Then second, utilize environmentally sound methods that maximize the utilization of valuable resources and encourage resource conservation and recovery. So, under this law, under this uh, act, ayan, or under this law, uh, kaya, uh, we are all encouraged na magkaroon ng uh, resource conservation. Okay? So, uh, dito, uh, pagdating sa, ano, sa waste, yan, Uh, yung paggamit ng uh, re- uh, atag dito, yung mga pagre-recycle, pagre-reuse yan, waste yan on how we will uh, conserve the uh, uh, resources. Okay? And then another is yan, set of guidelines, set guidelines and targets for solid, solid waste avoidance and volume reduction through source reduction and waste minimi- minimization measures including composting, recycling, reuse, recovery, green charcoal process and others before collection, treatment and disposal in appropriate and environmentally sound solid waste management facilities in accordance with ecologically sustainable development principles. So basically yan tungkol yan sa mga basura, yan kung paano natin mababawasan ang basura, paano natin marereuse, paano natin marereduce, paano, paano natin marerecycle. And then Uh, last is ensure the proper segregation, collection, transport, storage, treatment, and disposal of solid waste through formulation and adoption of the best environmental practice in ecological waste management, excluding incineration. Okay, so nakapalo din sa batas na ito, yung uh, yan, proper segregation. Then yung patag dito, collection, transport, storage, treatment, and disposal of waste. Okay. So another law is the RA number 9275 which is the Philippine Clean Water Act of 2004. So it is also known as an act providing a pro- comprehensive water quality management and for other purposes. Kung kaya't eh, meron kayo nagagamit na malinis sa tubig na nagagamit niyo sa pag-inom, pagligo at paghuhugas. Okay? Yan 'yon. And then under this uh, law, ayan, sec- section number 2, Declaration of Policy. So, the policy of the state, uh, it shall be the policy of the state 
First is to streamline processes and procedures in the prevention, control, and abatement of pollution of the country's water resources and to promote environmental strategies, use of appropriate economic instruments, and of control mechanisms for the protection of water resources. So basically, ang goal lang ng batas sa ito is protektahan ng ating mga uh, katubigan na kung saan po mas uh, mapag-ingatan pa at magamit pa ng ma mas uh, mas magamit pa okay and then isa pa lang sinabi is uh, to formulate a holistic national program of water quality management that recognizes water quality management issues cannot be separated from concerns about water sources and ecological protection water supply public health and quality life and last is ayan to promote to formulate an integrated water quality management framework through proper delegation and effective coordination of functions and activities and to promote commercial and industrial processes and products that are environment friendly and energy efficient so again in short yun lang po ang, ang goal na tong Philippine Clean Water Act of 2004 which is the RA number 9275 ang protektahan lang ang ating mga katubigan as simple as that and then another law RA number 8749 which is the Clean Air Act of 1999 an act providing for a comprehensive air pollution control policy and for other purposes so ito namang law na ito ang kinokontrol naman niya is yung uh, pagbawa sa pollution pagdating sa air pollution okay imagine meron pang batas para sa ganun So, ano-ano nga ba yan? So, under the Declaration of Policies, yan, it shall be the policy of the state to first formulate a holistic national program of air pollution management that shall be implemented by the government through proper delegation and effective coordination of functions and activities, encourage cooperation and self-regulation among citizens and industries through application of market-based instruments and focus primarily on pollution prevention rather than co- on control and provide for a comprehensive management program for air pollution. And then, ayun, uh, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, nakapaloob din dito sa batas na ito yung kung bakit uh, meron tayong batas na tawag dito yung uh, no smoke belching yan, yung mga emission testing, lahat ng mga Uh, dito, lahat ng mga may kinalaman pagdating sa pagkontrol sa air pollution dito po nakapaloob no? and then another law is the RA number 9147 which is the Wildlife Resources Conservation and Protection Act where in an act for the conservation and protection of wildlife resources and their habitats appropriating funds therefore and for other purposes ito namang RA number 9147 ay eh, may kinalaman naman sa pagprotect sa ating uh, mga kagubatan na kung saan nandoon ang ating mga wildlife resources and their habitats okay Ayan, declaration of policies niyan, sabi naman is to conserve and protect wildlife species and their habitats to promote ecological balance and enhance biological diversity and to regulate the collection and trade of wildlife. Another pa na sinabi dito is to pursue with due regard to the national interest the Philippine commitment to international conventions protection of wildlife and their habitats and to initiate or support scientific studies on the conservation of biological diversity. So, kailangan din ang i-conserve yun, syempre, para makapag-conduct tayo or in support of the scientific studies. So, ano, nga pa na, ano pa nga ba naman kasi pag-aaralan kung wala na iyon, di ba? And then, last is the RA number 9175 which is the Chainsaw Act of 2002 an act regulating the ownership, possession, sale, importation, and use of chainsaws penalizing violations thereof and for other purposes. So, sabi dyan, and it is the policy of the state to consistent, state consistent with the Constitution to conserve, develop, and protect the forest resources under sustainable management. Okay, paano sustainable management? Yung sinasabi dyan. So, at least kahit pa paano na, na, na papakinabangan natin, 
uh, despite na ganun, eh, kailangan na may maintain pa rin natin yung uh, ma- ma- mga kagubata natin. And then, towards this towards this end, the state shall pursue an aggressive forest protection program geared towards eliminating illegal logging and other forms of forest destruction which are being facilitated with the use of chainsaws. The state shall therefore regulate the ownership, possession, sale, transfer, importation, and or use of chainsaws to prevent them from being used in illegal logging or unauthorized clearing of forest. So, basically, yung chainsaw ang pinagbabawal nila dito kasi yun nga naman ang ginagamit for illegal logging. Once sa controlled na yun, eh, ma, tawag dito, ma, re-regulate na rin. yung uh, mamomonitor mako control na rin yung uh, pagkakaroon ng mga illegal logging. Ayan. So, yun po yung mga batas no na may kinalaman pagdating sa environment. Okay? And for us to be aware. And then next is the ecological footprint. Ano ba itong ecological footprint na ito? So, it is a measure of human demand on the earth's resources. It is an amount of natural resources required to sustain our consumption and deal with our waste. So again, when we say uh, ecological footprint, ito nga daw yung uh, amount ng natural resources sa kailangan natin. So ilan bang kailangan ng tao pagdating sa pangangailangan, pagdating sa tubig, o kaya naman sa... pangangailangan pagdating sa air and then yung need natin na nakukuha natin through our forest okay so do kailangan natin yan nakukuha natin yan and then tayo as a person syempre may mga waste din tayo na na, na, na produce kailangan ma-maintain din natin yun for so that yung mga resources sa kinakailangan natin eh hindi ma-pollute and at the same time mas mapapakinabangan pa natin okay And then sustainable development. So development that meets that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. So ano ibig sabihin noon? Uh, when we say uh, sustainable development ayan daw yung uh, pag-meet natin, pag-meet ng mga resources, available resources sa needs natin or pagbibigay sa atin ng mga kinakailangan natin na kung saan hindi nako-compromise yung magiging needs pa ng future generation. So just like in the tao dito sa needs natin pagdating sa hangin, ayan. So lahat tayo kailangan natin ng malinis na hangin, di ba? Ayan. So do na ngayon hindi hindi naman na ganoon kalinis ang ang hangin sa environment natin most especially dito sa Metro Manila, di ba? Ayun. So para mas mapanatili pa natin 'yon at hindi na madagdagan pa yung pollution, syempre, uh, we as a person, alam dapat natin yung mga bagay na kailangan nating iwasan lalo na kung alam natin nakaka-pollute 'yan pagdating sa uh, hangin. Yan, sabi natin yung smoke belching, yung mga pagsusunog ng mga gamit, lalo na yung mga plastic, dagdag yan sa pollution or sa air pollution. Another is yung pagdaan na naman sa tubig. Okay? Para maprotektahan din natin ang ating mga katubigan, eh, kailangan na iwasan din natin yung pagtatapon ng basura kung saan-saan. Kasi lahat yan, eh, napupunta rin yan sa ating mga uh, katubigan or sa kahit na anumang anyong tubig natin. ba diba? sa lalong lalo na sa karagatan sa mga ilog yan ba diba? pag nagtapon tayo ng basura doon ang diretsyo niyan okay yung mga waste galing from ng, sa mga factories di ba dapat uh, na maintain yon or nakokontrol yon para hindi ganun ka polluted ang uh, ating karagatan so that may magagamit pa tayo So, ano naman itong impacts daw ng environmental change? So, una, global warming. Yan, alam na natin yan, global warming, eh, yun yung pag-init. Okay? So, lalo na ngayon, sabi nga nila, eh, practice na daw sa impyerno. No? <laughs> yan. So, next is sea level rise. Yan. So, sa sea level rise naman, ito uh, naman, dahil nga sa global warming, yung mga... Yelo o yung mga icebergs sa may bandang North Pole yan, nag, natutunaw na, na nagkokos, 
para tumaas yung tubig. So last uh, last time may nakita ako sa Facebook na sabi yung isang part nga daw noong uh, parang ice version eh parang humiwalay na at matutunaw na nga na kung saan ito nga ay magkakos nga daw ng pagtaas ng tubig sa dagat. Okay? And then, ocean acidification. Ayan, yung mga, ito naman yung mga chemicals na na pupunta sa mga karagatan da, galing sa mga uh, factories nearby sa mga bodies of water. Next is health. Ayan. So, gawa ng uh, environmental change, iba't ibang sakit na rin nag- naglilipa na ngayon. Ayan. Ngayon, nagka-pandemic yan due to environmental change. At hindi lang yan, di ba? Ayan, as time goes by na, na as time na lumabas ang COVID last year, di ba? Tingnan nyo ngayon, may iba't ibang variant pa na lumalabas, di ba? May UK variant, may African at kung ano-ano pa, di ba? So, hindi natin alam kung ano-ano pang mga variant ang lalabas pa sa mga susunod na panahon. <coughs> And then, the temperature rise, yan, pansin naman ninyo, di ba, pag tag-araw, ay, Diyos ko, grabe ka init, ano, ibang init na talaga, para na talaga tayong pinapractice sa impyerno, ano, na sobrang init. <laughs> And then next is the extreme weather event, deforestation, ecosystem strain, and then loss of biodiversity. Yan, so, again, ilan lang po yan sa mga epekto ng uh, environmental change. Okay, nakusaan with that eh nararamdaman din natin yung mga nagiging epekto niyan sa atin. And then the reduce, reuse and recycle. So in order to minimize the impact of waste products on the environment, there reactions that there are actions that we can take by reducing what we use, reducing products and recycling waste. So, para nga daw malesen natin yon, we have to reduce, reuse, and recycle. So, if you can see in the graph, yan yung tinatag natin na waste hierarchy activity or yung waste hierarchy na kung saan naka by level siya from, pref, uh, from the pre, uh, least preferred environmental option to preferred environmental option. So, ang pinaka least na preferred environmental option is yung disposal. As uh, yan, as much as possible wa, uh, wag tayong mag-dispose. Instead, pwede tayo diyan na mag-recycle, mag-reduce and then mag-reuse. So pinaka preferred nga na environmental option is to reduce. Okay? Magbawas pagdating sa uh, pagtatapon ng basura. So meron tayo at meron tayo diyan na encounter na imbis na itapon, eh pwede pang magamit, pwede pang ma-recycle. Okay? So, yun yung pinakamalaking tulong na natin pagdating sa environment. It's either to reduce, to reuse, to recycle, yan. And as much as possible, eh, huwag nang disposal. Kasi nga, kapag nag-dispose tayo, eh, dagdag lang din yan sa maaaring makapulyot sa ating environment, okay? So, once again, kaya po natin ito dinidiscuss, eh, for us to know on how we will contribute for the betterment of our community and society.